guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my January favourites. Can you believe it? We're already one month down in 2016. What is this madness? Anyway, um, I do have quite a few products that I want to share with you guys today, so I'm not even going to bother rambling. Let's just get straight into it. So the first product that I want to mention is Primer. This is the Hourglass Veil Primer. Now, people claim for this to be like the holy grail of holy grail primers if you have oily skin and you don't produce any oils with this. I don't feel like that about this one but I do feel like it does make my makeup last a lot longer and go on a lot nicer so that's why I do like this one. It also has SPF 15 so that's really really good as well just to kind of layer up your SPF. So I do like that one but not for the reasons what a lot of people on YouTube like it for. Another primer that I have recently started enjoying is actually the Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base. I love the shade Rose, that's been a holy grail of mine for a very long time now, but this is in the shade Champagne. So Champagne is just a little bit more yellow and a bit more, a bit more yellow. So it looks kind of more natural underneath your makeup opposed to Rose, which makes you look very, very, very luminous. But I have been using this a lot just for more of a subtle glow. I do have this on as a primer today and I have very, very minimal highlight on um, and I do feel like this does the job very, very well. Okay, so for foundation, this is definitely not a new product to me at all, but it is definitely a constant favorite of mine and I've been using it basically all month through January. Um, this is the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. I love this one so much, I've lost the lid. You know when you've lost the lid that it is really, really good. Um, this in the shade F200. F200 matches me great when I have a medium fake tan on. Um, yeah, I really, really love this stuff. This is like my second bottle of this, so I love that so much. I don't think I've ever finished up a foundation besides EX1, ever. Okay, so for bronzer this month, I have been using non-stop the Too Faced Bronze and Poreless Bronzing Powder. So this is what it looks like here. It is definitely a little bit more warm toned than say the Too Faced Milk Chocolate, which I also love, um, which is this one here. Um, you can see that there is a slight difference in tone. This is more brown, this is more red. I just feel like the Bronzed and Paulus looks a little bit more naturally bronzed on the skin. I am wearing it today and I feel like it does look quite natural and I really, really enjoy it. The texture of it is just divine and yeah, I love it. So for blush, I've been obsessed with the Maybelline Master Highlights blush in the shade Coral. I apply it with a fan brush and I literally just go like this and it gives me a highlight and a blush all in one, so quick, so easy. I'll swatch it for you guys. I feel like it's a very, very foolproof blush. What is that sound? I think that's a bird outside, I apologize. But anyway, I feel like this is a very, very foolproof blush, um, especially if you are new to makeup. I would definitely give this one a try. It is that one there. It is just a very, very gorgeous, not too pigmented. Like it's not, it's not that it's not pigmented, but it's not too intense in pigment. It's just a very, very perfect wash of color to the cheeks. And that's what I also have on today. Love that so much. For actually setting underneath my eyes and contouring my face and stuff, I've been really, really liking using the, sm I was gonna say Smashbox, no, the Cap Von D Shade Light Palette. This is for the face, they also have one for the eyes. This is mine right here. Um, you can tell that these two shades here are getting a lot of love for me recently. I like using that to set underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, forehead, you get the drift. And then for the face, like for contouring and bronzing, I do quite like this shade and this shade here. This shade I haven't really played around with all that much because it kind of scares me a little bit, but overall this palette is very, very nice. Speaking of palettes, I want us to talk about the eyeshadow palette that I've been obsessing over. This is the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I feel like if you're a beginner with makeup or if you just want to buy one palette, and have just one palette where you can get a variety of looks, I'd definitely recommend this one. Um, the only shade that I don't like in this palette is this Forever Yours shade. I feel like that is a dud color in the palette. Like it's not that pigmented, it doesn't transfer all that well to the eye. But besides that, every other shade in this palette is amazing. Like I'm gonna swatch this shade for you. Like, can you see that? Can you see that? Like, that was like the worst swatch of my whole life. Like I'll swatch this shade. Like, can you see how gorgeous these shadows are? Like, I'll swatch this one for you as well. Like, these shadows 
are amazing. You have light shades, you have dark shades, you have all shades in between. I love this palette so much and I'll definitely recommend it. You can get this off Beauty Bay for around under $30. For lipsticks, I love the Chi Chi Viva La Diva lipsticks. I discovered these very, very late last year. They did make my Happy HQ Awards last year, but in particular, I've been loving two shades this month, and this one is Drop Dead Gorgeous, which is a more darker, rosy nude color, which I love. And then over the top, I love wearing this shade here, and this is called Checkin' In. Yeah, Checkin' In. Um, you can tell that I use this one to layer because it's got the other Drop Dead Gorgeous color on it. Um, but yeah, I love these. They last a very, very long time. They are relatively affordable. And yeah, overall, just a very, very nice product to use. I also really want to quickly just mention a perfume that I've been loving and using very, very regularly. Um, this is Giorgio Armani C Perfume, or SI. I don't really know how to say it. This smells so heavenly. It's definitely more of a mature scent, which I never really thought that I would get into, but I really, really like this. If you are near a Giorgio Armani counter, definitely give this a sniff. I really, really like it. It's definitely very, very expensive for an everyday perfume, but I love it so much. It's very, very gorgeous, very, very luxurious, and it's just a really, really nice perfume to wear. Okay guys, so that is all the products that I had to show you guys for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It seriously helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. And yeah, I will see you next time.